Wondershare Filmora just released their brand new version, Filmora 10, which comes with a lot of new features such as motion tracking, keyframes, advanced color matching, audio ducking, and many more for you to discover. Anyways, my name is Jack, sit back and grab your favorite popcorn as this video will take you on a new era of editing in its simplistic form. Question of the day, what features do you expect and what features do you want added? Make sure to leave a comment down below. First, let's start off with the UI. Filmora's UI is very beautiful and easy to navigate. It's very simple. And that's basically about it for the UI. Now, let's start with the feature everyone was waiting for, motion tracking. You can access the motion tracking settings by clicking on the square with a cross inside, or by double tapping your footage and going to image and clicking motion tracking. In order to stop motion tracking an object or anything, simply hover over the square that has a cross and drag it to wherever you feel, and click start tracking. I should also mention that you want to be at the beginning of the clip or else it will mess up the tracking. The second big feature is keyframe. All you have to do to enable it is get a video footage and double click on it. I also suggest that you turn on transform in order to, for this to work. Once you do, you see two different options. Preset animations or legacy, and there's also a customized option. You could basically customize anything in Filmora, literally anything. For now, I'm just going to show you how to use the customized tab. The less than arrow moves to the previous keyframe, and the greater than arrow moves to the next set of keyframes. Add basically just adds keyframe, and delete just deletes it. The rotation is just rotating the footage, and the scale zooms in and out. The X moves the footage right and left, while the Y up and down. Opacity is how much the footage is visible. What can you create? Make sure to tell me down below. The third feature is color match, which is very interesting and useful, but it does have trouble sometimes. For example, it keeps changing the colors, just like this example that I have on screen. So I wish in the future, Filmora will let you just keep one color and keep it as a preset. But anyways, in order to use this feature, all you have to do again is double click your footage, go to colors, and click color match. You want to select a time in your timeline where you want it to reference, and boom, the magic's all done. Now if you want to further customize it, you can. Keep in mind, this is my first time, so there's still a lot to be discovered. Last feature of the day, <clears throat> or should I say video, is the audio ducking tool. This tool is very simple to understand. All it does is lower the volume of all clips and just leaves the one you want playing loud. So that's about it. What feature did you like and expect and what feature did you want that didn't get added? For me, it was custom masking, motion blur, and time remapping. But it's all good as we got motion tracking and animation which was so nice of them. They literally stepped up the game. Anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this short video explaining everything you need in Filmora. If you did like, then make sure to smash a like. If we get 150 likes on this video, I'll, I'll be doing advanced editing tutorials. Anyways, keep smiling and have a great day.